Hello friends, today we are going to read Meera and Amira. The author is Nimmi Chako. The illustrator is Lavanya Naidu and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Meera and Amira. So who do you think are Meera and Amira? They are these two in this picture, right? There are uh, this one of them is Meera and one of them is Amira. Let's find out what they do. Meera and I are a team. She's my most favorite person in the world. Do you know why? She's the only one who can see me. So here is Amira telling this story about Meera and her. They are friends. They are a team. They work together. And it looks like Meera is the only person who can see Amira. How does that happen, do you think? So is Amira real? Can others see Amira? No, it means that Amira is only there in Meera's mind, in Meera's imagination. Meera knows that Amira is with her. Let's see what they do. Everything she likes, I like. Everything I like, she likes. Our names also sound the same. Meera and Amira. So isn't that cute? The two names are exactly the same sounding. They rhyme. One of them is Meera and the other is Amira. And so naturally, because Amira is in Meera's imagination, some things about them are the same. Whatever Meera likes, Amira also likes. And whatever Amira likes, Meera also likes. Things that happen to her happen to me too. I lost another tooth, Meera says, while I lost another quill. So whatever happens to Meera also seems to happen to Amira. When Meera loses her tooth, Amira loses her quill. Quill is this sharp needle that is there on this animal's body. This is a porcupine and porcupines have these needles all over their body. They're very sharp and they are called quills. Sometimes we can be a little different. Mira makes up problems. I make them go away. So it sounds like Amira helps Mira by making any problems go away. Like the other day when it was raining. Oh no, now we can't go out to play, Meera cried. So here you can see Meera is sad and sulking because it's raining right and they can't go out to play so what do you think amira can do if amira is imaginary do you think she can do anything let's see but i had an idea off we sail on a paper boat so what happened amira got this idea to go in a paper boat in the rain and they had fun. Or the time when she started school. 
What if I don't make any friends? Meera was worried. You made friends with me. Now go make one more friend. I told her. So what happens in this case when Meera is scared about starting school because she's scared that she can't make any friends. But Amira reminds her, hey, I am your friend. You made friends with me. You, so you can make more friends. Go to school and make more friends. How do you think that works? If Amira is imaginary, how does she give Meera these ideas to go in the rain on a paper boat or make friends in school? Really, Amira is in Meera's mind and really Meera is the one getting these ideas. But she imagines her friend Amira telling her about them. So she feels like she has a friend. It's my turn to tell the story now. Amira is my most favorite person in the world. Do you know why? She turns stuff upside down just so I have a different view. So here in this picture now, Meera is the one telling the story and they are both hanging upside down. And what does Meera think about Amira? Meera also loves Amira. Amira is her most favorite person. And why is that? Because Amira helps Meera to look at things from a different angle. When you start looking at things from a different angle, they may not seem so scary or so sad anymore. You start getting ideas about what to do with them. Amira never lets me walk into a fight alone, even though she doesn't help much. So here in this picture, what's going on? Meera is here and these other children are angry at her. Can you see? This girl is standing, looking angry. They are fighting with her. Now in this case, Amira is just imaginary, right? So she can't really help Meera. She can't fight with these other children. But she helps Meera think through what to do in this. She helps her. She gives her company. She doesn't let her go alone. Meera doesn't feel alone when Amira is there. She makes every day a big adventure. Like the time we had to get out of a Murukku maze. I know. Let's eat our way out, Amira said. So what happened that day when they got caught into in a Murukku maze? Is this real, do you think? I don't know. But whenever Meera feels she is stuck somewhere, Amira, in her mind, gives her ideas of what to do with it. In this case, Amira tells Meera to eat their way out of the maze. Like Amira said, we are a team. So, even though Amira is only in Meera's imagination, she helps Meera get out of trouble and gives her ideas on what to do when she is scared or sad. They make a great team. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are porcupine.
a small animal with sharp needles all over its body. Quill Sharp needle on a porcupine's body. Try these questions. How does Amira help Mira in this story? If you ever had an imaginary friend, write about them. If not, write about your best friend and how you make a good team.